Hey everybody, it's Bob Whelan from EmmanuelPracticum.com and I am here with Dr. Carl Lehman. Good to see you. Good to be with you. Amen. Yeah, and you said you had a story that you wanted to share. Yeah, so uh, as others have mentioned on some of these little uh, video interviews, um, neat things happen when we do a manual with children. Um, so Gaylene shared some really neat stories about uh, doing a manual work with kids in Canada. And uh, um, one of my favorite beautiful stories is from a young lady, a missionary in Uganda, 25 years old, um, actually learned, <coughs> learned the Emmanuel approach over Skype, you know, just like an hour a week Skyping with one of the ladies in one of our training groups, learned Emmanuel. And uh, I had the, uh, the fun of hearing the story from Elise uh, over the, I guess that was a Skype, Skype session too. So she described this story. Um, she she kind of he helps care for a family. One of the one of the uh, or part of their team on their uh, in their on their mission group there is a family, and the mom had to go back to the states for several weeks for health concerns. So um, some of the youngest kids went to, went with mom, and the other kids stayed home with the, with the husband. And Elise was kind of helping to care for them. They go to the airport. And the little four-year-old girl was just in shambles. I mean, mom's going away mm. for a long time, kind of scary. She's sick. Um, so the rest of the afternoon, you know, the little kid, the little girl, is just she's just having trouble. And so at one point, Elise says, well, you know, sometimes when, when I'm scared or, or upset or when your mom and your dad are scared or upset, you know, we, what we like to do is pray. Would you like to pray? She's like, um, no. Which I think sometimes kids realize that if you're, like their suspicion is you don't you're not going to really help me so you're going to just pray and then I'm supposed to stop being messy hmm. so you, you have to wonder you know you want to pray no hmm. so then Elise who just totally gets this you know, the idea about the positive memory the gratitude connected to Jesus she said well you know let's let's talk about a happy memory um, what's what's uh, what's one of your favorite things to do with your mom she says oh I like to play uh, mommy and I like to play together well tell me what's your favorite thing to do with your mom well um, so sometimes we like to play when we, we sit on the big bed together and we'll play. So tell me all about that. And she just coached the little girl just you know, real simply. Well, so what else would you do? What was your favorite part of that? You know, just tell me more about that favorite game you like to play with your mom. So, okay, now close your eyes and just sort of sort of be in that memory and, and just keep telling me about it. Oh, there's the mosquito netting and then, then there's a fan that's on and it's kind of blowing. And after you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes of just helping the little girl just talk about this good memory, um, describe the details, kind of picture herself in it. She says, okay, then let's just thank Jesus for, for, that, for, that, for playing with mom and how much fun that was. And so, okay, they just thank Jesus together, a little simple prayer. And then Elise says, okay, now um, I would like you to, let's invite Jesus to be with you in that memory. And she's like, you know, I have no idea what you're talking about. Huh. Okay, well, just, a little, just pray like this. Jesus, where are you? Well, girl, I can do that. You know, so she goes, Jesus, where are you? And pauses for a little bit, and she goes, "Him is there. Oh. Him is him is there. <laughs> him is him is really there." Oh. Which was totally cool. <laughs> and then just a little coaching. Well, okay, just you know, focus on Jesus, and they did a little prayer about you know, ask him what he wants you to know. Um, a few minutes of interaction there, and she was just fine from being totally in shambles, anxious, upset, just just a wreck. Spent a few minutes with Jesus, and she's just, she's just okay. Was able to go to bed that night without any trouble. All that's beautiful. Um, so during the next three weeks, obviously, that was you know, tough to have mom go on for three weeks. So there's another time there. Um, Elise is just caring for her, and they're, you know, uh, um, I think she was helping her get to bed and just helping her kind of calm down, just kind of laying there with her, help her to, helping her kind of calm down for bed. And this little one's kind of a snuggler. And until, so they were doing the manual prayer. This is another time when she was kind of upset about some, something. And Elise said, okay, let's just try the manual prayer again. Or the, let's do that Jesus prayer thing. And so they do the little prayer. And, you know, so where's Je They do the positive memory and thank Jesus. And, okay, help me to see you, Jesus. And, and she says, oh, well, Jesus, you know, he's just laying behind me. You know, like Elise is, she's kind of, Elise is laying here. The little girl's kind of facing her. And Jesus is kind of laying behind me. <laughs> so they do that for a little bit. And the little girl's kind of a snuggler, so she kind of scoots a little bit closer to, to snuggle. Then she starts giggling, <laughs> and she just giggles for a while, and, and Lisa says, so, what, so why are you giggling? She says, oh, 
I think Jesus likes to be close to us mm. because when I when I scooted scooted over to be close to you, he kind of scooted over to be close to me, and for mm. some reasons he thought that was just <laughs> that was just so funny and fun, which was which was a fun part. So another piece that I think is so cool and so sweet. After a number of these prayer times, uh, at least she was just thinking, you know, what is this little girl, you know, seeing? I mean, you can't help wonder, what, you know, more details about, you know. So, so she asks, so, hey, um, so what does Jesus look like? What does Jesus look like? Him looks like he loves me. Mm. <laughs> like, oh man, <laughs> from the from the mouths of babe, you know, yeah. the, the little four year old. The most important thing, obviously, is I'm just looking at his face and. He, he looks like he loves me. Yeah. You know, his eyes, his smile. We're just like, uh, oh, where do you go from there? Uh -huh. So that was just like totally cool. But eventually, all and she's still curious. So after you get done just appreciating that wonderful moment, it's like, well, you know, so d does he wear clothes? Is he wearing? Them? Oh, of course. You know, then kids like, you know, didn't you go to school? You know, <laughs> of course. So oh, what's he wearing? Oh, he's wearing this kind of this long white thing. This this long. He's got this long, long, long white thing that goes down to here. Oh, and and, he, and it's got he has this 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 thing that kind of goes across, or and it's kind of blue, or maybe it's red. I don't know what color it is, but he's like, hmm, you put blue and red together, you get purple, hmm. which is just so curious to me that the little girl that Gaylene prayed with, or Gaylene's friend prayed with, the same. Oh, he's got this white robe on, and he's got this thing that goes like this, mm. and it's you know blue and red together, or, or purple, whatever. Which is just so curious that two little four and five year old in Canada and Uganda <laughs> seem to be discovering the same Jesus, which is like, how cool is that? Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's just so pure and innocent. Isn't that incredible? It's just so cool. Yeah. Oh. So it can be that simple. I mean, sometimes yeah. kids will have wounds and defenses, but sometimes it can be that simple. Well, just tell me, you know, tell me about what's, what's your favorite thing? What's one of your favorite things? Hmm. I like to play games with mommy. Well, tell me about your, your favorite game with mommy, mm -hmm. and just help the kid talk about that for a few minutes. Okay, let's thank Jesus about for that. Wasn't that fun? Thank you, Jesus, for, for that being so much fun. Thank you, Jesus, for the big bed that's fun to play on. Mm -hmm. And then, Jesus, where are you? Wow. Unbelievable. So listen, an encouragement to all you parents out there, and grandparents, Amen. and aunts, and uncles, and neighbors, and Amen. brothers, and sisters, and uh, it's easy. Amen. You don't have to do anything fancy. You don't have to know much. Little kids upset, mm -hmm. just get them to think of something positive. Thank Jesus for that. Where's Jesus with you? And it's just so pure and innocent. And just do me a favor and don't squash it. Yeah. <laughs> just let them be. Just let that go and let them experience Jesus as he relates to them. Mm -hmm. I think as a parent, before I got into a manual, I would probably tend to, mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, you're just being silly. Go to bed. And, mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. wish I could do that over again. Mm -hmm. But, boy, so just... You all, with kid, all of you with kids now, you've got an opportunity for something cool. Yes, that's right, starting now. Mm -hmm. So God bless you all. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Dr. Carl, for sharing that. Mm -hmm. Yep, and go Jesus. Go Jesus. Bless you all.